What's up, guys? It's your boy Dennis at hand today. I'm ready to play some Gil. I'm also a gamer, nerd, and ready to play. Woo! And unfortunately, Switch and uh, Volt are not going to be with us tonight, but that is perfectly okay. We miss them. We love them dearly, but they hopefully will be back very, very soon. Anyways, who would like to recap what happened two weeks ago? Okay, I guess I will do it. So first things first, uh, our lovely band of adventurers of uh, Jeep, Copper, and Rat. Uh, I almost said Rat. <laughs> Copper and Volt have come have come back to the Badlands to go check it out, see what's new. You know, anything has changed over the course of a year and a half since we haven't been around there. And as they're going on, they have made a few stops around along the line, you know, make some deals, deliver some stuff, send some messages, you know, all kinds of stuff. Then they get to the end of the end of their ride. And then they met up with two unexpected visitors from the Badlands. And one of them being uh, who is sadly not here, our lovely uh, JJ, who plays Switchback and is also playing as Brass. And then they get to meet up with your boy here, who's playing by Gil. And yeah, things got a little chaotic. And then everything was starting to get dark. And now they are hiding. And then we left off with Gil opening. Yes. So the reason why Gil is opening up this hatch and everything is because you guys, well, some of you were sleeping. Uh, there was a couple of noises. Arthas would have been able to pick it up in Kelpie as well, but there was something that was moving along the bus that you guys had decided to sleep in. And uh, Gil thought it'd be very, very interesting to open the top hatch of the bus to see what was out there. But before we get started, we do have a couple of announcements. Uh, Rob, would you like to talk about your commission? Yeah. Uh, so just recently, I opened up some cloak commissions. So if you want to get yourself a cloak like this one, you can head over to Tabs Cloaks on Instagram. I'll be pasting a link in chat real quick. Um, cloaks range from about $75 to $200. Uh, just DM me there and I can set you up with a meeting and we can decide on the details from there. All right, thank you. And our second announcement comes from a sponsorship that we all know and love, Geeky Clean. Now, Geeky Clean is a group that knows how to make bath bombs, liquid soap, shower scissors, and just a bunch of really good products that are all geeky uh, inspired. So not just Dungeons and Dragons, but also things like Squid Game, or if you're a huge fan of Critical Role, Critical Role stuff. Or I believe they even did for a while, even Animal Crossing. They recently started a new subscription program, which is basically you get uh, D&D dice bombs once a month with their new subscription dice bomb program. And you can also get a discount using the promo code A-N-I, that's A, the letter N-I pod at geekclean.com for your purchase. I don't think it goes with the subscription box, but for everything else, you'll get five to 10% off. And thank you again, Geek and Clean for sponsoring us now. We're able to get into it. Are you guys ready? Uh, Since most honestly. of you guys are <laughs> exactly. So, as you go, Gil, to open this hat, you go and you hear <laughs> as it opens up. You peek your eyes out. You notice that there really isn't anything there. Make a perception check real quickly for me. Oh, you you know something's there. You have heard that there's something there. First roll of the night, people. Let's see what we get. Okay. Okay, not bad. Uh, I rolled a 14. And a 7 for a 6. So 20 total. You are able to see what looks like to be headlights. Many headlights just all within the like, scope of different pieces. Almost as if there was a huge swarm of a creature. And you, with your history, since you rolled history before Scream started, you would know that this is considered within the Badlands a storm and that you probably should close the hatch for your own safety, knowing that these things are inanimate for climbing underneath the ground and digging. And they're also able to go into things like wooden buildings and in the area of the Badlands that you are 
but then they are very common. So what are you going to do? Uh, we got to stretch and switch. hydrate. Thank you, Lady oh. of Storm Blade. Starting off Thank strong. You. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, so we got to yeah, hydrate. We got to hydrate as well. Oh, some you guys. I totally didn't, you know, just chug one of these beforehand. No, not at all. Please don't not ever all. over caffeinate yourself again. I am very scared. <laughs> oh. I have done it. It's ended horribly. Trust me, trust me. One of my partner, who I believe might be watching or not, hello if you are. Uh, I think he overdosed the caffeine once. So I'm good as long as I don't see different colors. We're fine. <laughs> Because you know, there's there's no different colors when it comes to the background on our screen. <laughs> I can see it. Which, by the way, guys, the lovely background yeah. made by that one. <laughs> Hi. It was very fun to make vaporwave. It's very difficult to make vaporwave art, but fun when you know how to do it correctly. But as I was saying, Gil, what are you doing? <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm close. I'm closing the damn hatch. Eggs? And we are not going to do anything. I'm just going to, now that I'm going to wake up Jinx and Comfort. Wake up! Wake up! Focus! Wake up! Uh, uh, yes? Yes? What okay. the fuck? Okay. Sorry for waking you up, but we need to get off this bus. Like, now. Like, now, oh, now. You know that this is the safest thing that you are in, by the way. The bus okay, is never mind. Uh, we're, we're staying in here, but I need you all to trust me on this. Um... Okay, so certain things have changed. Um, apparently, there is a storm coming here. So, yeah. So, so make sure you keep all your belongings close and, yeah, stay in here. What you need to do. I want to go. Get, and then I'm going to take the back. Go on the back and keep looking. Okay. okay. You, can, uh, you can see with your passive perception and stuff that they are getting closer and they are eating what looks like to be smaller mechanical thing and coming even out of the ground all right <laughs> since people are up what are y'all doing apparently i'm calling artis and kelpie back to me already as they come back to you they let one waddles his way and tries to give you the grabby pause for like lift me up please oh yeah absolutely kelpie is as kelpie is able to just glide and then just drop right onto you like get slap yeah <laughs> just like hello i am here i'm gonna power them down for a little bit and stuff uh in my bag all right i'll say Since that they both have 70 yeah i'll say that they are at 80 percent power yeah so that's what i'll say because you have to conserve power since you are in the badlands uh copper are you doing anything uh i'm gonna try and See what I can remember about the storm, like. Okay. Yeah. Roll, roll a history check. All right. Uh, that would be a twelve total. Hey. Okay. So you know that this is something fairly recent within the time span that you would have been out of the Badlands. You had just gotten out of the Badlands when this became a huge problem. Mm. So you didn't know too too much about it. You knew that they were totally creatures that burrow, that they were to be within the desert areas and the canyon area of the Badlands. But before, like past that, it's usually safe on those types of creatures. And okay. that it's some, it's what I mean, it's very new. I mean, people from the Badlands, even the elderly that live there, don't know what these people are. And if someone does, then it's very unlikely they know the reason why. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Does anybody else want to do something, or what are you guys doing? You guys see that's uh, not switch. Uh, brass and Volt are just clocked out of sleep. Like they are heavy sleepers. Yeah. Well, didn't who was it that took first watch? Can I can't remember who did. I, I believe did. It, yeah. Copper. I mean, go back to sleep. Honestly. With where we are right now, we're pretty safe, question mark, Gil? Um, pretty much. I mean, as long as the storm does not, or whatever's inside the storm, or any of the storm comes around close to the door, we're safe, no need, I think we'll be fine. So, 
apologizing for waking the both of you up. So yes, go back to sleep. And then to I'll be call fair, I was watch. next watch. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, is it close to my watch? Yeah, it's it's pretty close to your watch. Yeah. It was near the end of it. Yeah. You just kind of had a rude on wake. Oh, if it's an emergency, <laughs> we're not really that safe. Oh, wait a minute, we're in a safe location. We're fine. Uh, yeah, Copper, go back to sleep. Gil, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> Already um, on it. Good job, bud. And I will take over watch. Alrighty. Uh, you have a couple of options that you can do. You can make perception checks to look at different sides of the... Uh, that's a lovely profile picture, by the way, Copper. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! Um, I love it. What you can do is you can look through, either open the top patch, look at the driver's side of the, like, bus, or the back way through, or even just, like, try to hear things around. You're also able to look at the bus itself and see what you're able to do with it. And this is, like, a school bus. Like, I want you guys yeah. to know this is, like, school bus size level. Yeah, I'm going to, as much as I can, figure out whether or not I can get this thing mobile in the morning. Okay. Like, from, from the inside, obviously. Okay. Because storm outside, it, is it like a dust devil kind of thing no. with, like, things inside of it, or? Uh, all you know is that it's just, it, it's making wacky noises outside, and Gil didn't give you enough information to describe it. Can I take a quick glance and then check? Yeah, you can make a perception check. Which part of the bus do you want to look out at? Um, I guess this actually kind of plays a part into what you see. Yeah, because he didn't give me any information from which way it was coming, did he? Nope. I'll take a good look out the front. Alrighty. So as you go and you look to where the driver's steering wheel is, you know, that that's at least a steering wheel, so this thing is steerable. Just naturally. What you roll? Uh, 13 plus my perception is... Plus 4, so 17? 17. You're not able to see anything that would just think that there's a creature outside. However, you can hear things such as the rattling of vehicles from this junkyard like just kind of shaking about something sounding like they're crashing but you don't you ha you're in a bus so this is like very like semi not that stable so you would be able to feel like a simple gust of wind yeah so you're not able to feel that gust of wind but you're able to hear all these things you're also able to hear what sounds like to be just like very small scratching as well coming from bits and pieces as well but you don't have a high enough perception to see what's there for sure you can assume um, that there is something at least that's that. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to kind of, like, keep an ear out and start looking at whether or not... <sighs> See, my brain is going, fix the truck, but I can't <laughs> do anything to do that because I do not know vehicles at all. <laughs> Jinx does. Okay. Nikki doesn't. <laughs> okay. It's okay. You can roll a vehicle check for land to see if you know at least if all the compartments for being inside work before you check things from like outside. Yeah, at least do a little checklist tonight. Yeah. Check. That's a 10 plus. So that's a 15. All right. So My you're able spot. to see that, yeah. But you I'm also the keys to... proficient in it? Question mark. Yes. Okay. So, I don't know if that helps it's... me anything other than it's. I fine. mean, for, I think I think when it comes to D and D proficiency, means that you roll mm. twice because you have advantage with it because you're proficient it? with it. I I don't know. I'm I don't think it's nice. I, I think it just increases my proficiency on it. Okay, then increase your proficiency with it. I think we're good. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> Okay, I wanted to make sure. Ah. <laughs> so you're able to notice that, like, it has a pedal. You can kind of hear, and it's it's very loud. We hear when it comes to like the brakes. So you have brakes? Question mark. But they're very, Hopefully. very uh, 
fun. You, you're pretty much like, instead of like pinky toeing it, like most people will do when they use the brakes or whatever, you're almost going all the way to the floor. So if you're going to brake, you can't brake hard. Yeah. But as far as you know, you can simply hotwire this thing to get started. You just got to check in the morning to see if there's an engine that works and if there's enough gas in the vehicle to use it. Yeah. Is there anything else you would like to do this night? <laughs> um, other than kind of just like tinkering with my head, uh, my uh, thing, which I've powered down seeing whether or not I can get it to at least kind of be local signal. Mm. You're able to turn it on, but when you go through it, you can see that there are no cellular reception at all. That when I mean this place is a junkyard, I mean the only thing yeah. that could probably work is a Nokia phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because those things are indestructible. Anyway, no, <laughs> Got to make sure. Okay. So that's pretty much all the things you see for your watch. As you start to see that the sun is slowly starting to go up, you notice that there's a bunch of hole patches all of a sudden starting to form in, on the ground as you're able to see more of uh, dawn breaking, daybreak uh, forming. As you do, I need you to make one more perception check for me. Okay. Um, let's go with my jangle dice. Where are you There it is. I'm sticking right within that, like, five range from ten. God dang it. Okay, uh, 14 plus four, 18. You're able to feel a scratching underneath the bus, but thankfully uh, there is nothing uh, strong enough to basically try to move it. But you're able to feel the bus move a little bit, waking some people up if they want to wake up, if they want to. If not, you don't have to. But there was definitely something outside that was waiting for you to come out. Oh, yeah. And now that it's daytime, there seems to be no sign of life outside. Well, that's disconcerting. <laughs> okay. All right. So, how did you watch that? What? How was your walk? <laughs> That was your want. <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean, nothing really was there other than the scratchy bits that you told us about last night. I didn't look at them. I didn't find them. But the potential for this bus might be able to turn it on at least. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> All right. That would be useful. That would be very that useful. Would. Indeed. Um, okay. Then we shall try and get this bus moving. You know, so we can get the heck out of here. I don't know if there's more out there than I will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I, yeah. At the very least, we can uh, get people looking for spare parts because I he definitely heard the brakes were not the best. So maybe we mm -hmm. can find something to kind of adapt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gil and Copper and Jinx, were you uh, part of the Badlands at all for any point of time? Uh, when she was really, really little. Okay, so you probably wouldn't remember as much, but for Copper and for Gil, you guys would know too that you guys aren't far from one of the older cities and stuff, like one of the older ghost towns that some people reside in. So, worst case scenario, if you guys can make it there, you guys should be okay still. It's a place of survival, and there's a form of civilization instead of Mad Maxing out here. <laughs> Mad Max right. the bus, let's face it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, uh, if there was any chance for you guys to Mad Max something, now's the time to Mad Max something. Yeah, probably. All right. So, as long as we need to take on brakes, we make sure we finish. Brakes are one point. You've got to look through and see whether or not it's got engine that'll mm -hmm. work or all the parts underneath the tranny and the whole nine. Okay. Spend, right. That's what I'm going right. to be spending my morning on, at least. Copper, okay. do you mind getting food going? I know you're the best at it between the three of us. I can get that going. Awesome, mate. Alright. Mm. Good to work. Alrighty. So, who wants to do what? Well, wait, I gotta roll percentile first. Let me roll percentile first. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that's the percentage of how well this thing's gonna work. I'm not gonna say um, until the end. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to just kind of do a full on check as much as I can okay. with the bus. Uh, roll a vehicle check, and I saw a hand raise. <laughs> I will also do this. Okay. okay. So one person's going on one side of the bus, the other person's looking like... One person's popping the hood and the other person's looking underneath. Natural uh, 20. Uh, <laughs> of all the useless things, you know. <laughs> uh, I mean... No, I know it's like great in the long run, but like of all the things for me to get a natural 20 on, checking over a vehicle wasn't exactly what I was going to think. <laughs> Mm. Uh, I got a 18. I rolled a 12 plus 6 for a vehicle. So. Oh, yeah, so awesome. my total is 25. So you guys are just natural for seeing this. There's like some things wrong with it that it, like are inevitable that you can't fix because it's a junkyard. So for instance, like it would be nice to get a nice filter into that thing to make sure that it will run, you know, not crappy. You're probably not going to be able to get AC in that thing at all. But like exhaust this safe you're able to there's an engine at least in there oh thank god so that's something that's good and it looks like wiring is good but things such as lights for looking at night for driving at night is not there and also the brake pads are just terrible they are yeah. absolute garbage you might be able to get a couple of hard stops in but you don't want to push your luck so take it slow and steady yes yeah. From what you can see, also, is if you try to okay. hotwire this uh. thing or anything else like that, you can check for gas. It doesn't really look like there's a lot of gas in the thing, but at least, you know, it's a movement, and it's like a move in the right direction. In that case... The I rolled a 95% chance for this thing successfully being able to drive and be in good condition, so congratulations, you guys got a nice vehicle. <laughs> We have a bus! <laughs> Damn, I... <laughs> I like it. I'm gonna add spikes to it eventually. Also, like neon highlights. <laughs> Cause jinx. Sorry <laughs> about right, well, that. Yeah, okay. You're all good. good to, the way I have it set up, you, it, you don't have to worry about that too much. You don't shift around so much. And if you okay. do, I can just plop you right back in place. Yep. Awesome. All right. So what are you guys doing? Oh, you guys... Uh, I hand out first. the ramen I made. Ramen. Nice. Nice. Nom. Uh, do, you have, do you have a hot plate with you? How did you cook the ramen? I have a full-on chef's kit. Okay, so you would have a camping hot plate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this, that you are now running low on water. Probably. For you, for your own inventory. Also, uh, I only have about three more days of food. Just so y'all mm. know. So we're definitely going to have to barter whenever we get to the next town. Yep. Uh, but uh, this ramen will sustain you for the entire day. Because that's what ramen does to college students. All right, <laughs> well. 100%. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So some options that you guys can do for giving you a little bit of lead way. You guys can just try to get this thing up and going and just go. You can look around the junkyard to see if there's anything that you can do. And you guys can also try rolling mechanic checks to try to fix this bus up a little bit more. I'm going to see whether or not any of these like things have any gas that I can kind of siphon out of them. If there's like okay. a hose or something like that, I can find a bucket. Okay, like find a bucket for what? Sorry. No, no, no. So basically, like try and find uh like some kind of container to siphon any gas that might be any in any of these vehicles around okay. here. Okay. Okay. I, I know it's a sl low, slim chance, but I gotta. Yeah, try. you can roll me a survival for that. Oh joy! I don't think Jinx is good at that. Oh no! Welcome to survival rolls. Who what is thought? a survival roll? Uh, is it... uh, that would be like your dexterity. Since oh no. Stealth streetwise? Yeah, there's no straight survival. Okay, uh, yeah, so then just use your dexterity. Just like a straight dexterity roll. Okay, 
that work with me? Or with, because like you're trying to maneuver through things and cars are falling and stuff. So you got to try to look through and make sure you're not going to get gap on you. I'm going to say it for that. Okay, sounds good. Let Let's me see. do my tiny dice. Little boy. Tiny dice. Boy. I like this boy. I don't like my tiny dice so much no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! He oh, has no. betrayed me. Why That's a nine. Up? A nine. Oh. oh, so you're able to find what looks like to be another bus, but like not a school bus. So like a mini bus, where like you're able to fit like maybe three to four people in it. And as you go and check underneath the hood, you find like just a loose lug nut. And as you go and you're unscrewing it and stuff, all of a sudden it just goes right on your face, right on your clothes. It tastes nasty. Uh, you're, you're able to get it away from your mouth before you could get like any type of poisoning, yeah. But it's just disgusting. It's gross. It's skunky. You can kind of feel it a little bit in your fingers and it feels like there's some like metal in it. Like this is not safe type of oil. And you just got yourself soiled in it. So you're gonna probably reek of oil for the next like two to three days, oh, no. unless you're able to get yourself washed. Probably not. I just this put my head out like this is perfect. You good? Fine. Have I mentioned how much I hate it out here? Um, you never mentioned it, but I know you now. All right. Anyone else doing anything else? Uh, I'm going to roll some mechanical checks. Okay. Mechanical. Roll some mechanical. Okay. Uh, 16. I rolled 13. 13. So you rolled a 16? You're no, I rolled, to... I, I rolled a 13, and I have a plus, I have a 3 for mechanics, so it's... Okay. So you're able to look around, you find what looks like to be old like uh, hubcaps that are like hollow enough that you're able to use a kind of like a bowl or a bucket type of ordeal, kind of like a steel drum. So now you have something to collect oil in and you're able okay. to find it. As you go and oh. you walk past, you're able to smell a very, very high potent smell of oil. As you look over and you see that it's stinks, just covered in oil. Oh. Thankfully, it wasn't gasoline. Uh, okay. Real My okay. wife is suffering. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, and she's just like sitting okay. here. Like, takes off her jacket um, the whole nine. The whole nine okay. yard. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I have a bucket. So we can... Pour gasoline and everything we need in here, and then mm. fill up the bus. Uh, I'm gonna have actually you guys help me out with this. So, Copper, could you roll me a percentile dice? Oh no! Oh no! This is just oh, gonna no, be no, to no, see no, what you guys oh, can no. find off in the distance. Oh no! Also, Copper, are you looking for anything as well? Or yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, I got an okay. eighty-five. Oh, oh, okay. This is oh, good. and a natural 20 plus 5 for the mechanic. So, <laughs> you're someone that is very uh, vigilant when it comes to the Badlands. You're able to maneuver through it, having grown up in it pretty That's much paranoia. all of your entire life. And also your paranoia of something coming and jumping out at you or being watched is also kind of a keen eye at the moment. So, as you're going through, you find what seems to be, and I can't believe that's what you rolled for it, you find what looks like to be a light mech suit. Just, it's shriveled up and it's in terrible condition, but it looks like it has a lot of like things that can be salvageable. Please tell the hacker. Please, please tell the hacker. Please tell the hacker. I'm not metagaming. Please tell the hacker. <laughs> I'm going to look this over. You would know that this also just naturally, like, going through things such as the Green District, and assuming this is probably, like, Blue District prototype stuff, that this might be, like, a three million watt type of vehicle that's just garbage now. <laughs> you rolled a good percentage! Hey, Jinx! I found nothing! 
thing. <laughs> what did you? How the fuck is that out here? Oh I, no! I feel like Gil and you're like, all right, let's start. What in good God? So this is like something Jinx used to put together for her work, right? Like, because she used to yeah, work like on... Proto right, prototype skill. Would, uh, would your character be someone that would have gone out of the Badlands at all? Is it bad that Gil is a pilot? I forgot okay. to that. Okay, you're fine. So you would, you would kind of know, like, rumors of this type of thing, but it was, like, black market talk. What? God. And I was like, and the kills just think it's like, fuck, fuck. Oh, okay. can, you can see that it hell, can fit. But... You can see that it could fit something like a average human that's like around maybe like five three. Be a very short human, but it's something that was definitely a prototype. Something that other mechanical beings would be able to go into if you wanted to try it. It's it's shriveled up the shreds, but it looks like that it has enough things to be like uh one moment. <laughs> Let me <laughs> who in the book <laughs> uh, oh. this DM searching moment has been brought to you by Carbon. <laughs> <Based in Lauren's laughs> <Aura. laughs> oh, this thing. Bro. So oh, hold on. You remember hearing back in the D green district about how there was blue district tech trickling down and oh, it, it seemed to be increasing in speed i'm i'm worried about how this how did it all already get down to the badlands like this was above my pay grade and i worked for basically a weapons manufacturer i mean if someone was piloting this, like, guy out of control had, like, some kind of virus or something out of the blue, and then they have it to fly out of wherever they came from, then obviously the pilot's not good at driving these kind of men. And... What? Hopper has a sudden realization and just runs behind a nearby car. Get away from it! Might have cameras Wait. from Orbis. Okay, but mm -hmm. we can't even connect to anything in the in there. Um, uh, we're only a hacking check, actually. I was gonna say, can... what is in orbit? I don't even really know what that is. It's a horrible company run by a demon. This is true. Wow. But ten plus. Oh shit! I have a plus eight to hacking. So eighteen. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you know that the. Like, from what works on this thing, at least, you know that there are things that will help quicken a robotic person, for instance, if Nathan was to go into this, or if you were to put your arm into this and, like, hook it up a little bit to kind of connect through, that you would have quicken reflexes to kind of, like, advantage on reflexes for dexterity, but also there is a hidden blade connected to it, and because in the shape that it's kind of formed up and everything, it's not at flying capacity, but it does have enough fuel to kind of help move in like some kind of nitro speed if you really wanted to get fancy with it. But it's like a one burst time only thing. Yeah, that makes me happy. I'm sorry to <laughs> all the mechanics that are watching this. I don't know cars. So tiny whiny. So in the words of a lot of my friends, tiny whiny space magic. Space magic. Space <laughs> magic. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, I'm gonna. Um, so, like, how much effort would it be to take it apart for parts? Because, I mean, obviously, it's not. It's kind of usable as this, but there'd be no point with the f me, you, and Vault Copper, plus Gil and Brass, if they want to stick around us. Which, I wouldn't understand why they would, but, you know, to each their own, right? We're kind of a uh, bunch of assholes. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean... 
We're all a bunch of assholes. Like that's yeah, that's extra. This is the Badlands. We're all assholes. You just hear I from like, say, but, like you, you just say. hear brass like in the bus just vibe and like we're all assholes here. And then I I hear that and like uh, I mean we're not we're not wrong at that point. And concerning that earlier when we met and uh. I kind of was an asshole, so I will say that. Well, um, you did <clears throat> shove a gun at me, so you know. Yep, and I apologize. For that. Anyway, um, uh, are the boots still intact? I'm just uh, questioning. Oh, okay. I saw a lot of hands up, so confused face from Cop. <laughs> there was something that looked like Jinx wanted to say something. Uh, just making sure. Okay, we're gonna keep rolling then. Uh, <laughs> you can notice that like it looks like a. You know how Iron Man has, like, those weird calf like, armor yeah. things? That's what it kind of looks like, and it looks like only one of them works at the moment. So it would oh, take some time to kind of, like, hotwire to make sure it goes through and try to figure out the technology. You would be a little bit at a disadvantage to it because you are not from a different thing other than the Badlands, so it would take you a little bit more time. Got it. Okay. But for taking Fair this right. thing apart for, like, bits and pieces and stuff will take you probably an hour. And okay. so basically, if I were to plug my arm into this, you could technically even switch your arm out and have a hidden blade arm. That's something that you can do to upgrade yourself. I would like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if Nathan was here, I swear to God, if Nathan was here, it's like, uh, uh, jinx, jinx, jinx. For someone so, like me, I have a time. Yeah, no, I just so like, that... boop. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just take it off, and you're just like, oh, this is going to take me, like, maybe 30 minutes to do. <laughs> <laughs> and Nathan, quick, give me that out running. <laughs> mm. You're also able to see that it runs on fuel, so you guys are able to put the fuel into the bus if you want to. If you want to put the, the, the go-go fast <laughs> into it, the go-go stuff into it, you could try. You gotta roll high to make maybe, sure you don't have to blow up the bus. Maybe we stuff for later. Take it, but save it for later. Got it. And then I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna try and pull, or no. Hold on. I'll probably fuck up. I'm, I'm just gonna try and get the mech suit on top of the bus. On top of the Are we just bringing the whole thing? <laughs> hey, at least we can use it for something, at least if something goes wrong. There's also the pop the idea that we can sell it. Exactly. Fair. Fair. Plus, I, if I would think, I would know a few places that might be able to do that, but we'll continue on that. Let's just try and get us on the arm in my bag. I just realized I just have another arm in my bag. If you lose an arm, at least you can get a leg. I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna give myself this advantage. We're I'm good. gonna give myself this advantage. <laughs> if if I'm not laughing at the joke, most likely you guys aren't laughing at the joke. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's it's fun. We're having fun here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Have fun, guys. So congratulations. <laughs> uh, you have a hidden blade, Jinx. You're going to be able to. So the blade can be extended or retracted as a bonus action. And while it is extended, you cannot use that hand of that arm for anything else except for a blade. The blade is three feet long when extended and deals 1d8 points of splashing damage and is a a finesse weapon. So, attack of opportunity. God, Nathan would love that for sure. Okie dokie. So whenever right. I have the blade out, I'll just have one hand. Yeah. Okay. But congratulations, you finally have a weapon. It only took you one arc. <laughs> to be fair, I have a sword. I just never use it. Because we avoid combat. Yeah, for people that, that have we not do. seen 
if, if you guys have not seen anything from like the previous arc before we put these on YouTube and are saved in the videos, uh, the party avoided 36 initiatives that I had planned. Let that sink into how stealthy this party is. <laughs> not so much stealthy as we choose the dumb things. We and just don't know what to do with them. <laughs> and, it's up, and it just works. And I'm just like, you know what? We're rolling with the punches. We're going. <laughs> Just, yeah, we're going. We just, just it's not that we're stealthy or we're able to like convince people not to fight. We just say something so stupid. Everyone has to pause for a second. And I have to recoil my thoughts. Yeah. That's just what happens, like, oh, I broke. Okay. Yeah, and then there's the <laughs> make best interested. boy be demon boy. Yeah. And it was all happening in a Denny's, so it's fine. <laughs> Where I got killed and and Denny's. Artists. Yeah, and Denny's. Ah. We still love us. you. We, can, we, we still, still love you. you. We can find a way to put a Denny's <laughs> in will... a complete junkyard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How about this? I'll make a shrine to Denny's if they actually sponsor us. Anyway. <laughs> and that's a promise. I got a whole empty wall. And just a shrine to Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I always want to get back to Denny's able... after we play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our Denny's is currently closed. Oh, that's sad. Uh, <laughs> it's because we've had a lot of rainstorms and the blizzards that happened. Mm -hmm. The roof kind of leaked. Oh no! So it's just you just go in there and it's like this little bucket, and they had just like redone the kitchen too. The oh, fact that I painful. know this about a Denny's just shows you how painful of a DoorDash driver I am. <laughs> Moving on though, you guys anyway. are able to put the you guys are able to put the mech suit. It is in very used condition, but it's still in a condition that can be salvageable and parts can be used and stuff like that. Are you guys gonna get the bus moving? What you guys gonna do? Uh, we'll sure. move, take the gas out of the mech and put it into the uh bus because apparently that's the only bit of gas we've been able to find, which is perfectly fine. And then I'm going to start working on hot wiring it. Already. So you would know naturally that someone needs to be like stepping on the brake while another person's doing the hot wiring to make sure everything can start. Mm -hmm. So who is stepping on the brake? Do -do -do -do, and who is hot wiring? I will first. step on the brake because that is something that I can do. <laughs> Which means you will be the one driving. Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to so, walk you through how to do the wires and I can drive? Uh, I still won't drive. Okay. I'll no, drive. That's not, As, that's not terribly confident, no. Could you, could you make like a perception check for me? Me? Is this anybody? Uh, not me. Oh. I got a fucking four. Uh, yeah, that would be a baby. Okay, uh, you all notice that Volt is not in the vehicle, nor is Brad. What? But you're- <laughs> <laughs> We've already lost two cam companions in this freaking series! No! I Where have, are they? <laughs> I have proficiency uh, in tracking. Can I try and track them? You can do your tracking, and with your natural 20, you can see that there are tire tracks that look like they're going within the town that's coming up next. Okay, all right. Apparently, I see the tracks. They're heading right ahead. What did you roll, Uh, I got a 22. Okay. So with the help of uh, Gil, you're also able to deduct that this is something too. It looks like they both struggled through with it and then they were taken. So that could either be things oh. such as gangs or something else. Just your paranoia is spiking because you know that anything can happen in the Badlands at this point. Yep, yeah, Orbis. It was Orbis. Orbis, Orbis came. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yep. <laughs> no, it was Orbit. No. It, Tony, it was Orbit. Tony and JJ, I appreciate you both. But since you're not here, this is what you're going to be waking up to next week. 
Love you. <laughs> I guess we're following a trail with our bus. Apparently. Okay. All right. So let's get this thing going and go. Could you roll me a, a vehicle check, Copper? Copper, since Copper. You're the one that's okay. driving. You're, does, does Copper seem more shooken up now that we've noticed that they're gone? That's yeah. on Copper. Okay. Uh, very, uh, still shaken up. Uh, I did get a uh, 21, though. So he can drive it. I can drive! <laughs> okay, bud. Do you guys need to hydrate? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Fine. Uh, I'm gonna start hot wiring it while he's pushing brake. Alright, you guys <clears throat> are able to do that, no problem. You hear just like... Yeah. <laughs> That's my impression of a car. <laughs> That's a better impression of a car. You're able to step on the gas and you're able to get this thing moving along following the trail. And now you guys are cruising down along in the bus. Kayla is just in. You Kayla have a bus. Have a bus. Kayla is just in the bag, just like mumbling, like. Uh, Gil, I'll say this with your natural 22. You're able to see that both bikes are missing. They took... <laughs> oh. No, they took my bike and brass bike. God. <laughs> they also took brass, so, you know, and vault, which I'm a little bit more pissed off about. Well, I don't I'm... know brass for a hole in the wall. I'm sorry. Uh... Uh, and Gil just goes quiet. Why does he need cyberpunk? Of all the... He is a fish out of water here. Let's just... Don't let hey, him start. Hey, don't, don't tell remember, him that comparison. Remember that last episode? He was ready to fight Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, as you guys are driving along, it takes a couple of moments to go through until you guys see a sign that looks beaten down, but you guys, some of you guys are able to recognize, and uh, Jinx, I need you to roll for it, but you see what looks like to be a broken down sign for a town called Talentusk. Is this where the raider tracks were going? Yes. What am I rolling? Okay. Uh, you would roll a history for remembering in your past. 30, 20. I rolled a 60. Oh, then yeah. You would know that this place is something. It was one of the last places that you your uh, mother would have worked at for it being known for its saloons and gambling back in the day. Mm -hmm. For those of you that watched our Extra live stream, you were able to see what this town looks like in its prime. So you would remember, uh, some, some people would remember a little bit of uh, stories of a group of adventurers that went there to save uh, forgotten heroes that went there and the party ended up having a purple worm at the end of it that they were able to ride. Remembering that within the canyon that purple worms were not the scariest thing out here, but they were one of the things that could be underneath the ground no matter what. The last you guys have heard, there hasn't been a purple worm for at least 200 years. Oh, good. That would put a real damper <clears throat> on things. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a chaotic that was a chaotic one shot. But to everyone that was there for that, shout out to you guys. That was fun. <laughs> Uh, as you guys are going through, you guys are able to make it to the town itself with the opening and stuff. Uh, Gil, you actually notice your bike in the distance near the saloon. That, or at least what you could think is the saloon. Hey, uh... it's, it's hanging up on a cart, like, like a little cart stand type of thing. As if it was like a market stall. Hey, uh... Guys, um, I want to check out that, uh, that saloon for a moment. I or drive the bus into it. <laughs> oh my god! Into the car. Uh, okay! <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that! <laughs> You're gonna roll to hit with an impact. So 
I need Please here. don't no. break my box! Oh. <laughs> so, you know, uno, uno no mento. Uno no mento. But That's if very you broke my bus, I might just hang you. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just to give you this idea, if you roll higher than a 10, you've hit this armor class. Because your armor class with the bus combined with just like everyone inside of it is like a 18 for the shell. Uh, you roll? Well, uh, uh, three. Three? Oh, thank God. As you go and you want to go and ram it, you notice that you guys are out of gas because you got very angry. So as you go, it just goes and it just barely hits the cart. Like just just kind of goes and just nudges it. This is an elegant just the tip of the cart. Jinx just nothing is hurt. Over copper. Were you going to with bricks at any time? Anyway, we got some business to do. <laughs> okay, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's talk First about off, this really quick. Yeah, yeah. First off, that was not cool on on doing that. First of all, copper, and second of all, oh, he has the you hammer. don't know what my. He's, I know he has the hammer. I understand that. There's However, the whole thing with the hammer. Anyway, getting to the fact that some of you have not been in this town for so long, in much time. I, however, have been seeing things have been different around here. So, my guess is, if we're going to do this, we're just going to have to take it slow and not cause destruction. Cool. My All friend's right. missing. I walk out the bus door. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> As you go, the saloon doors that are very wooden, very, very dampened and everything else like that. There doesn't, doesn't seem to be a lot of people in here, but there are at least three individuals that are just hanging out, having some fun. Hey. You can see that two of them are very intoxicated, by the way. Would I recognize them? Y'all the cart out front? Huh? I'm the cart sorry. Out front? What? I'm going to run up behind cover and be like, kind of like... Buddy, 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 can we, 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 has to do, I think it was called the Purple Market or something like that. And you just it's like notice yours, that the person, like you just see the person like right next to you, like, call the Black Market, get it right. Black Market. Sorry. Yes. Like, it's just. It's a not part. our part. Not yours? Not ours. But I did buy the bike. Which bike? Wait, 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 yeah. Which bike? Uh, it's it's on the cart. <laughs> That's our cart. It's not. That's I'm gonna run. Car. I'm yeah. running to go check on the bike. Okay, you run out and see that the bike is in like good condition and did not get hurt. The gas. <sighs> Thanks. You might just see what looks like to be like a little string from like the seam for like the little embroidered detail and the leather seat might be cut off but other than that <laughs> and i go walk back in okay how much did Would you pay you... for it uh well i think it was like a hundred watts that we did because we're trying to get out of here i don't know about you guys but that's what we're trying to do a hundred it was an interesting group yeah. I want... It's like... Yeah? Sorry, continue. It was like just an average group that kind of came through. Looks like two individuals were like passed out of sleep though. I mean, I've never seen that type of thing before. Can Where you... did they go? Aren't, you're charming, sec, aren't buddy. you? One sec, buddy. I'm kind of like patting uh, Copper like, come on, come on, come on. Uh, don't don't worry. 
rolling Go constitution for, for somebody. Uh, one of them is like currently like, give me a moment, goes behind the bar and just starts vomiting uncontrollably at the moment. Too much give me a quick description of the one that sold the bike to you. Really quick. Yeah, actually. Let me just pull up the picture of the individual. Just give me a second. Yeah, this, this DM moment as it's loading is brought to you by anxiety. So, obviously, the people that took our bikes and our friends obviously came around here. And will you kill any recognize any of the three individuals? Uh, yeah, you would actually probably know one of these people. Uh, roll me a history check just to make sure you do. All right. Uh, I rolled a natural nine, and I got two in history, so 11. You at least have heard of one of these people. You would know that they are known for their alcoholism, but they're also known for uh, being very headstrong and stubborn when they want to do things. But you know they're not going to hurt somebody. Like, they probably should not hurt a fly if they really tried to. You would remember that the one that is at least throwing up, uh, their name is Zink. Okay. And it's spelled the way you're thinking, Z-I-N-C. Oh, would I recognize Zink? Uh, you got a history check to see. Yeah, you got a I was going to say, um, I'm going to go over to Zink. Oh, that's a natural one. Okay. Ah. Uh, <laughs> see, roll again. To see if you recognize the other one. That's a two. I'm getting rid of this dice. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, I'll say this. It's on the tip of your tongue. Yeah. That you at least think you know possibly one of them, if not both. You're just, it's just not coming up for you, unfortunately. No offense, Copper, but you have a very scary oh. face. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna head myself towards uh Zink. Alrighty. Uh, I'm uh, reading the description. Uh yeah. So as you guys are talking stuff, <laughs> uh bleh bleh bleh. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> bleh, bleh, bleh. Uh Zink is able to compose themselves and go, Yeah, I mean are you trying to think of the description for the person, like the people that were sleeping? Or are you trying to think of the description for the people the that, ones that were awake? awake? Because the ones that were sleeping were our friends that were kidnapped. Oh, that was a little more hard to talk about. But I know some of them had like leather jackets on. A few of them had very like husked up like facial hair. I'm not one for facial hair. And it was just like, ugh. Looks it's like they're yeah, termite. It's disgusting, but you it, it, isn't it? And, like, I think there was one chick, too, that had, like, crazy pigtails or whatever. But other than that, I mean, can't remember for the life of me. She really can't remember for the life of her. Can't remember the name of the group. But I know that they're known well. Do you know where they might have headed off to? Honestly. So the one or two places. It's either in Salic City, which is probably, like, gonna be two days trip from now or they're going into the canyons the canyons and the black yeah, yeah uh this place used to be well known for things such as gambling and everything but it was also known for its resources as well that's how a lot of us get out of it from barter and trading but the black market kind of took over with it and also she kind of leans over the counter to grab like alcohol and everything else and no one really comes here anymore, so this is a piece of cash. But we bought a bike because like, we thought we could barter and trade it for the lot. Sorry if that was your bike, by the way. If you want it back, you can have it back. It, it was. I what, did they have another bike? Just Yeah, they did. They cool. did. Sweet. So they still have that. Good to know. Probably going to find that along the way. Okay. Oh, um, uh... By the way, my name's Zink. It's it's kind of hard for me to like talk right now. It's uh, I've had a lot of this. 
Nice to meet you. Uh, this is my sibling. Their name is Zen. Z-E-N. Okay. And, yeah, it, it's been a good time. Uh, Zen's actually going to take a little if look. If it helps any, we do have parts you could probably pull off of this thing we have to make up for the bike. Oh, we already have the lot. We just were just going to try to sell everything else and kind of barter through. We actually think we might have enough to get to at least Root District. Maybe don't do that. Just fair warning. Oh. We literally just came from there with kind of everything exploding. Ooh. So maybe don't go into the city. Zen kind of gets a little excited and Zink really gets excited. Are you guys like criminals or something? To be fair, we're running from criminals. They just happen to be in charge. Oh, that's cool. You know. Uh... Zink is gonna point to copper. You look very familiar. You know, I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah. I can't remember if you were from the Salatic City or if you were from one of the valleys, but I, I recognize you. If I sober up, I'll probably know who you are. And she kind of goes back around the counter to go and throw her tooth bucket. <laughs> Can I make another history check? Yes, I'm... you can. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's a uh, 16. 16. You would know these two from your childhood yeah, yeah. way back. You got, You would have noticed that uh, Zink and Zen were known for a little bit of mischief back in the day, but they kind of kind of straightened themselves out. They were known as herbalists. They were able to do a little bit of cooking, but they weren't really good enough to talk to monks or anything else like that and they just kind of are just kind of like nomads now they just wander about the badlands just wherever the wind takes them and apparently they found alcohol so kind of helps that out apparently they found alcohol <laughs> <laughs> oh the, the, yes I, I, i'm copper copper oh hi huh. i wonder how you how's the mom doing uh, I haven't seen her. Um, I've actually been in the city for like 10, almost 10 years. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Oh, my goodness. I remember when you were like shorter. <laughs> You've grown a couple inches. Just a bit, yeah. But... Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that. The city is, don't go back there. Okay. Well, I thought that it would be nice. It wasn't. Hmm. Have you been able to see Flint at all or anything else like that? No, just like, okay. just got that. Uh, okay. Oh, come on. Where's Flint hanging out these days? Flint's been just wandering about. I haven't seen him in like, a year or so. It's been kind of crazy. Uh, the last I knew of him, uh, what was what what was the name of that place again? Kind of looks over to uh, Zen and Zen kind of just tries to remember a little bit. I think it was the Lucy Loud like Lodge. It's an old camp place. I don't know if you guys would remember it at all or anything else like that. But it's a couple days out from here. But that was the last time we saw them before, oh yeah, before that. Anyway, so you're looking for your friend, you said? Yes, Volt. A couple of them. A couple of them, okay. Well, there were Both two people of the ones sleeping. that were knocked out were probably ours. Oh, I... well. I think it would be more important if you guys try to find them instead of hanging out around here. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but, uh, organs kind of go high pricier nowadays, and one of them had tech, so that's even more expensive. Wait, who had tech? Uh, it was, it was this dude that was snoring, dropped a pack of cigarettes, I think, not too long ago, like, before I saw him. I don't smoke, so I just left him there. 
But well, no, this was an out of out of character question. Does that would Volt be Volt. Have, uh, yeah, Volt has tech. Yeah. Like he Volt's has, the one that has this. Volt, yeah, Volt has things like goggles, and he also oh, has okay. uh, so it's gloves just like that say the, gutter the punk bits. Yeah, yeah, instead of like actually augmentation. Yeah, uh, Zinc isn't the smartest. <laughs> No, you're Especially confused. intoxicated. Hi. Well, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna be hiding my arm from this point on. Maybe I should put my jacket back on. I didn't even notice that. That's cool. Okay. I've always wanted to get into tech, but it's too too much think. <laughs> it also doesn't work very well out here. That's the reason. Well, I mean, these things work, and she pulls out like a Nokia. Aye, but uh, these things don't, and this is what oh. the town runs on. Uh, you um, see Zen's eyes kind of like sparkle up a little bit, like, oh my gosh, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. That's, that's pretty Oh, she whoa! Whoa! How much do you want for it? I'm assuming that's out of the question of why. <laughs> oh, by the way, these are like ginger twins, by the way. <laughs> Not these, because these I made, but... And she's gonna go rummaging around for, um, I have things. Where's my bag? Wait, 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 wait. You guys were on the run? Um, only a little bit. D minorly slightly. You remember that Orbis thing we told you about? Yeah. That. Oh, that's the company that we're trying to put our deposit in so then we can. Don't. No, no, no don't. No, do no, not. No, 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 do no. not. That is the that that that's the company that's run by a demon. A demon? Yeah. Quite literally, unfortunately. Wow. Uh, yeah, did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Wow. You're you're <laughs> certain. Yep. Yeah, I mean, yep. Yep. Oh wow. Wait. Saw so ourselves, tried right? to kill us, had to run. Was it just the three of you, or were there more? There were two others. We don't know where they Technically, are. Technically, there were three others. One of them lost their head. True. One of them betrayed us, possibly under coercion, possibly under misinformation. Who knows? The other one went running after that one. What's the person that ran into the other person's name? We don't know where they are. It's a whole thing. That's the reason we kind of want to get Volt back. But do you know their name? Do we Nathan? know their name? Nathan and Switch. I'm sorry. I'm going to step out for a moment. Anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> uh, as this is going on and stuff like that, Zen's like, do you want me to show you where I found the cigarettes? And yes, the but that I do heading? have, I'm taking out my pocket uh, computer. Okay. It doesn't work out here. I, that's the reason mm. I didn't really care about it. I can trade this for anything. Well, I can see what we got in here. I know we have the Celine's old shotgun in here if you're interested in that. We kind of run this place now. It's, it's great. <laughs> but. I think matters are more important to you guys. I, I'm, I won't be interested in that stuff. Thank you for showing me, though. I do appreciate it as much as it kills me. But <laughs> you can kind of see, like Zen is like draining themselves from doing anything from it, as much as it's killing me. Uh, I feel like this more matters, and I'm kind of interested if that makes sense. But at the same time, I know how long organs kind of last, so. Yeah, they, they they will end up either dead or alive, depending on. Um, how let's all let's I ask for is a, hmm? yeah. All we need is maybe a couple more days of rations and some water. 
Okay. Gas. Oh. Uh, we need gas. Okay. You just run our ba- bus out of gas. You I forgot about that. We, we don't have gas. I yeah, don't have so. that. I'm sorry. I thought, that marketplace, definitely you'd be able to get it by the gallon. And what per se would um the currency be? Because I've got one longs, but I'm fairly certain they don't work here. Whatever is valuable for a person to be able to either survive up here or get out of here. I've got a pocket computer. That would be to get out of here. A lot of people nowadays are just trying to survive here. So there are things I have rations. I, I'm more than willing to give you guys rations and stuff. As this is going through, we're gonna do a little uh, jump to you. Know, so what's currently going through Gil's mind? What's going through Gil's mind is that the the when Nathan's name was pulled out, he starts remembering of a time when Nathan wasn't a soldier and was not any like like anything that was killing any people. He remembers young Gil and young Nathan playing around, creating things as a friendly bond. And for the and for just a little hint effect, um in addition to his outfit he's wearing, you guys don't notice, but if you notice that there's a necklace around uh Gil's neck that says in the friendly words, forever and ever. And it's by me. And then the right. bottom text, it says, brother. Oh. Aw. Yeah. Anyway, as that is going through, I want you to make a perception check. Fucking natural 20. Okay. <laughs> So you are able to see that a windstorm is going to be picking up soon. So you are able, not a storm as in what you saw that night, but just a windstorm, kind of like a dusting coming through. So if you guys were to leave, it would be uh, rough terrain for you guys to travel in, but also it's helpful for stealth, but it's also harder for you guys to find perception if you guys were to leave for the weather kind of coming through. Also, this is around midday too as well, so half the day has already been used. Uh, with that information, I'm going to go back to everybody else. <laughs> you can choose to come in at any time. Uh, at this part, you notice that uh, Zen and Zinc are able to get you a couple of rations, a couple things of what looks like to be dried turkey and like like jerky turkey. Mm-hmm. And then things that are like basic needs. So like you're going to at least have another three days of rations added for at least six days. All right. That's good. Uh, I'm going to go, come I'm in. Gonna give them the computer for giving us food. It's a pocket computer. I, wow. I'm not going to be able to use it. This is so cool. Thank you. This is this is so cool. Like I, I just said, like the technology. I think it's so cool. Don't don't go into the city. <sighs> Period. I won't go yet. How about that? Wait until different news comes down. And you never know. And then that moment, Gil comes running in. Drink, copper. We gotta start getting moving. Where was this it's market nice. so we can maybe get some gas and get out of here? Uh, if you want to get some gas, then you're gonna want to try to go to the black market for it. I think your friends might be there too. I'm not sure. They might take you to Atlantic City, which is another day's journey. And since you've spent a lot of time with us. It might be a day and a half for you guys tomorrow, which means that you would have to find if they have a hiding spot. They're well known for their hiding spot around that area. A lot of member gang members will usually go around there. It's why we don't usually go there anymore. But then, can I ask a favor? If you're going to be around the area, do yeah, you on the bus, make sure no one tries to steal and sell it. They're letting us use the bus. I mean, it doesn't move currently because it's out of gas. Oh, it's going to save us from the storm, though. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be great. It's going to be better than using fire. Side note, 
How do we kind of move in the storm? Oh, you don't want to move in the storm. You don't want to move when they're there. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Not that storm. Like, we, we know about that one. We know to not be around that one. You don't, don't you don't, you don't even want to be outside. You don't, you want to make sure you have a door. You want to make sure that everything is sealed. You want to make sure that if you do have ground or whatever, that it's either a cement or like wood underneath it. You don't want to be caught underneath it. Oh, no, you don't want to try. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. I also, guess... if you ever hear, if you ever hear knocking on a door, don't open it. Wasn't planning on, but good to have reaffirmation of that. Yeah, just don't open a door unless it's morning. Do you do you know anything about this, Copper? Like, have you heard the news lately about that? Uh, no. Oh, I thought you would have at least been here for it. Like, yeah, just. I think it kind of happened after you left. Just a lot of these random creatures started but like, pop out of nowhere. And they're almost like, oh, I wish I had the library near me. I don't know. It's just, it's weird. Okay. It's more, it's more monk stuff than anything. Interesting. That's well, the monks good. are the ones that have the most history. Yeah. So does the demon. Oh, yeah. Demons aren't really mentioned a lot. Yeah, they weren't mentioned up in the city either. But, you know, one of them runs a company. So there's that. That's kind of funny. I'm sorry. Hey, yeah. we, guys, we gotta get going. We yeah. don't know how far we the do. storm will come. Okay, so. well, Which uh, direction? here, just, you're gonna want to go out this way of the city. It's gonna be about, I want to say, a three, two hour walk, maybe. You guys are a little past midday, so it's not gonna be terribly hot for you guys. But you want to be really careful. And yeah, just be really careful. Uh, here's some flint. Here's some steel. And here's three torches. This is the best that we can do here. If you need help, we're going to be here for the next couple days. And then we are going to head to Atlantic City. Okay. So if you we're come back with two stuff, we'll help you. For yeah. If we find parts in the, if we find parts in the junkyard that's like right down the road or whatever, we'll even try to see if we pick some pieces up for you, maybe insulate it. Bricks would be preferable. Looking over at copper. Yeah. Mm. He's not allowed to drive anymore. Anyway. <laughs> ah, yeah. I mean, our our cart does the job, so I mean, as long as that didn't get destroyed, we'll be fine. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, and with that, as you guys are trying to make your way, you guys just have the choice. Are you guys gonna head towards Atlantic City, or are you guys gonna head towards the canyon? Oh. Yeah, flip a coin. Flip a coin. I'll ro- I did I'll not decide. decide. Which way? Which way did they say that they saw the cigarettes? Uh, they didn't say anything <laughs> about it because you guys were too much into more information. Yeah, I know. You you are still in the building. You're able to ask <laughs> questions. Yeah, I. By the way, wait, can you show us the cigarettes? I'm sure Volta will want them back. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, they're gonna be really sandy and grimy, and disgusting. But yeah, here, yeah. I'll, I'll show you. Yeah. I'll show you. Zinc, stay here. Don't drink all the bourbon. One at least a couple sips. It's been nice catching up, Zinc. See you around. Bye! <laughs> she goes to grab the bottle just a good chug quickly. They're gonna drink it all. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I, I know that. But... Listen, that's how I carry most of my watch half the time. Because, you know, we don't have digital watch. So, yeah, it's going to be great. Anyway. Uh, anyway. We're going we're gonna to 
to go near the casino. <laughs> and so you guys are able to go to the casino. You are able to see the uh, what looks like to be the last bit of tracking that you're able to do. If you have tracking as proficiency, then yeah. I'm going to say that you have a straight roll. If you don't have it, you have disadvantage. Uh, that would be a 17 plus 7 for a 20. Oh, wow. There you go. Nice. Pretty We're nice. gonna die next session. I'm just, I'm just calling it now. I'm rolling entirely <laughs> to the entire session. Yeah, you guys have rolled really good, and I've rolled like an eight and two, a seventeen, and then the one time I need to do like you know a percentage to see if I give you guys a challenge. No, what, no. rolls a ninety-five percent. This is revenge. This is like karma or whatever revenge. for my last uh, game because Friday was fun. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you're able to see that a lot of the tracks show what looks like to be a struggle kind of going through, and you're able to see that it's heading towards what looks like to be the old mines, which are within the canyon, and that you're about maybe a 45-minute walk for well, it. Let's head this way. So now, you guys have a choice. <laughs> uh, Zen can come along with you guys, or Zen can go back and face to help build up the bus. Copper, what do you think? I'm going to let you guys choose this next time. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. Yes. So this has been in Horror Exile. We're going to have a group waking up. Yeah. What's up? Do What's you up, want Jake? me to play that video at the end? Which video? I forgot which video. From TikTok. Oh, oh sure. We'll, we'll pop out at a, on a video. Yeah. So for those of you that may not know, we have videos that have been trying to sponsor things that are going around in the city instead of the Badlands. We have a video that had an introduction on surviving the Badlands recently to now Sacral District actually has an announcement for its people. So we are going to be closing off with that. And then after that, we are going to hopefully attempt to send you guys to a raid. If we're not able to do that, apologies ahead of time. But anyways, I have been Ace. I am the DM that needs an introduction. These have been my lovely players who are amazing. Absolutely amazing. We got Jinx, we got Copper, we got Gil, and, you know, Volt and Brass. I love you guys. Sorry, y'all got kidnapped by the black market. You weren't here, so Oops. that's what happened. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Them, right yeah <laughs> yes 100 percent. and remember guys that your adventure matters roll for initiative see you guys next week bye-bye bye the people of the Sacral District, despite the protocols of our citizens and leaders of Enfora, we are within lockdown and travel until further notice. Though men have rebelled against the ways of how we have kept society alive, there are those who wish to see death upon you and your family. Though threats have been banished from your district, do not let them banish your spirit. This is why the people of higher and lower districts are now called upon to act, to consider the proper safe calls within your enforcement protocols. Let your family be safe. Even in threats we refuse to surrender, we will claim victor.
All right. Sorry, everybody. We don't know how to raid yet. We're going to learn how to do that for next time, hopefully. So until then, your adventure mad is roll for initiative. You guys have a wonderful night.